Hi friends, it's Liz here at Liz the Paper Project. Today I am sharing my design project for Digital Collage Club. I will link everything below that I have used in these projects. I had so much fun putting these together. At the end of the video, I'll be showing you how to put one together, just in case you're interested. They're super easy and super fun to make. I just wanted to mention quickly that I have some awesome codes for Digital Collage Club for any of you interested. Um, she, Tina has some amazing um, digitals. They are copyright um, free. You can sell items that you make with them and there's just hundreds of them in the shop. Um, there are coupon codes if you do the annual membership as well as um, if you're interested in the lifetime membership, which um, I mean, it's amazing. If you use digitals like I do, you will love this shop because she's always adding something new weekly. You get some freebies by email as well, periodically. Um, and um, yeah, there's just so many things that I have done so far with some of her digitals that I'm really loving. And as you can see, the project that I'm going to be sharing with you guys this time is super easy. So I hope you guys, um, you know, check out the shop. I will leave all the coupon codes below. And now I'm just going to get back to the um, share. So let me show you this one. I just added some quick embellishments to it. Um, um, this little, uh, I guess... Oh, what is it? A tag. The round tag is from J9 Scraps and I will link her shop below as well. Um, I added some of the Alice in Wonderland stamps digitals that are from uh, Tina's shop as well. Um, and I made this tag from Tim Holtz paper. So, um, my gosh, you guys, these were so fun to make. And it's sort of um, another project that I made using... Um, repurposed junk mail envelopes i absolutely love 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 using envelopes in my projects or junk mail envelopes i have a few other videos showing you guys many projects um, using junk mail envelopes including a journal cover i will link all those below in case you're interested um, here i just made one of those full envelopes which i think are super cute added a stamp and then stamped some kind of canceled stamp pieces to it to make it look like it had gone in you know the actual post office um, so, um, the first little page, which I made the pages just using scrap paper that I had left over. Um, I made this tiny little paper clip again using the Alice in Wonderland stamps from one of the kits. Um, and as you can see here, it's just a variety of junk mail papers. And that's what I love most about this project. I think it's just the, being able to use pieces that you already have. I did stitch this, um, by running it through my sewing machine. It just made it so much easier to put the pages in. And now I've got a cute little booklet that I can send out in snail mail or to pen pals or my friends. And it would be so nice also to add to your journals, you know, especially if you've got a theme going on to give it that extra special um, journaling spot. I've got a little ticket here. I left the um, Canada stamp, um, the postage stamp on the envelope because I wanted um, to kind of see that and show it. Um, and then I just made another one of those little full envelopes and of course a little tag on the inside. Now you can load these so much with so much ephemera, of course, and then you can do so much with the envelopes. You can cover them completely like I have before um, in other projects, or you can just do a little bit of embellishing and just kind of make it really fun and, you know, kind of have a theme if you want to. This one is Alice in Wonderland themed. I made a little pocket in the front. And then this one flips up and it's got all these different little tuck spots and pockets, etc. as well. Now with Digital Collage Club, I have recently received some coupon codes for you guys to use. Um, if you have been subscribed to me for a while, you will know that I really enjoy using um, digital kits because um, A, you're supporting an artist. Um, B, you can print as much as you want or as little as you want. And, you know, if there is a certain image that you have that you really love, you can print that as often as you want. It's just one of my favorite things to have when it comes to digitals. Um, and also usually, you know, you end up kind of getting one and then you add another and you add another. So pretty soon you've got a really nice collection of digitals. Now with um, Digital Collage Club, Tina has some um, membership fees that you could actually, um, you know, take advantage of. I think she's got an annual membership 
and she also has a yearly membership and that means that you have unlimited access to all her digitals for that time frame um, I think it's such an amazing deal if you are one of those like myself that prints out a lot of digitals so check out the coupon codes I will leave those below for you if you're interested here I'm just showing you um, a little embellishment that I made that is similar to my cancel stamp embellishments I shared a tutorial about that a, a, a while back actually um, I will link that below in case you're interested in seeing that project as well um, they're so fun to make again using up lots of bits and pieces and I just had so much fun with that. Um, here I added a vellum envelope that I made with a, a die that I received from, I think it's In Love Arts. <laughs> I'm trying to remember all these names as I'm going through, um, you know, showing this project with you guys. So here I made a little pocket in the front. The inside again has another pocket. Um, again, you can just load this up with so many goodies. I just added a little stamp to the left here, make it look like it's a canceled stamp. And then again, just random bits of paper, which I think is what makes this project super fun and super interesting. You know, gives you a reason to use up all your paper bits. So, um, and then the back of this one, I did something very similar to the first one, which um, I just added a little pocket at the bottom with those little um, postcard digitals, which are super cute another one of these envelopes or faux envelopes i'm not even sure who started these but somebody did and i just love doing that um, and then of course um, another tag that i made with a recycled file folder so um, stay tuned i am going to show you how to make one yourself if you're interested in watching that um, this one i made a little belly band um, okay so next i'm going to show you a couple more things that um, i made while i was doing this so I added these little pockets that I made with a die cut and then these paper clips with the secret pocket. Oh my gosh, I love making these. Um, I will link the tutorial that I have for this as well. Not my original idea, but I have made a tutorial um, sharing how I put this together in case you're interested and I will link that below. I think these are so fun to make because they add a special touch to any project. Um, you know, you can send this again in snail mail. I made these little pockets with my die cut and I love how it came out um, because I, again, I used some of the digitals in the shop. So now I've got this really cute themed kind of snail mail package if I wanna send out to a pen pal or a friend, um, et cetera. So I think it was just so fun to make them, you guys. They feel so nice in your hands because of course you're using all this, um, you know, coffee stained paper that is so yummy, especially when you use it on envelopes to crunch it all up and just, it's so good. So. Let me show you now how I put one together. Okay, so getting started, because we get so much um, junk mail, you know, with different envelopes, pick whatever size you want. There's no specific size that you need to use. Um, so for example, for something like this, you can see that this is a little bit smaller than the one I used. So like I said, it doesn't matter what envelope you use as long as, um, you know, it's what you want to use for your project. I did coffee stain mine because I like the crinkle that it makes because of the coffee staining. And so um, this is the one that I'm just going to pick to, um, to show you guys. It's got, um, you know, kind of white, um, uh, white paper inside it doesn't have the print that most envelopes do but it doesn't matter it's whatever one you want to use so I'm just folding it in half because I want this part to be the front pocket and um, I'm, I'll be adding you know kind of little tuck spots and everything to the front and back I've pre-selected some pieces that I think I want to use again to save you some time in watching me fumble through what I might want to uh, to work on so um, I wanted to back them just with some paper, some vintage paper, because I like the kind of like the, the text peeping out from the back and uh, or peeking out, I should say. And uh, I'm just going to decide here if I want to make kind of like a belly band in the front or another one of those pockets like I had made before. And again, you know, you play around with your size, your shape of digitals or scrapbook paper or whatever it is you want to use to make these little booklets. So I think I'm going to go ahead and make a little pocket. Um, I like having the pocket kind of on the, on the right side here, like this one. Um, just gives you more room to tuck things in. So I'll go ahead and glue that and come back. So once that's been glued on, then you can start selecting maybe more embellishments that you want to add. 
Initially, I put some butterflies in mine, but I think for this one, I might select some flowers. And um, I just have to kind of play around with the sizes again and, you know, kind of the, the colors or, or whatever it is that I want to use for this one. Um, I wanted to mention to um, Gay, thank you so much for your email. I really appreciate it. I hope you can hear me. I'm trying to talk louder for now. Um, she mentioned that she enjoys watching my video so much, but it's hard for her to hear me sometimes. So I'm playing around with my um, editing and seeing if I can get my voice a little higher for her to hear me. Um, I've also gone ahead and invested on a different microphone. So I'm hoping I get that very soon so that uh, some of you that have had some issues um, you know, hearing me in the videos will be able to hear me a little bit clearer going forward. Okay, so I just added a little bit of um, this little cloth, which I always forget the name of when I'm filming. Um, so I, I'm just kind of deciding again on the flower and what I want to use sort of as texture in the background. But this again is just, you know, whatever you want to do with yours. I'm just showing you how I put mine together just to give you an idea. Um, and again, my favorite glue, um, I use this for just about everything. I find that it's just a perfect glue to hold what I'm needing to hold. Um, I will link any of my favorite supplies below because I know some of you ask me, you know, about some um, pieces that I use and where you can get them or where I have gotten them from. So I will link that below. Hopefully it will make it easier for you if you are looking for something. So here I just um, finished gluing this on and then I'm going to move on to decorating the inside of the envelope. Now I'm seeing the envelope itself as a cover. So whatever I do with it, because I'll be adding pages to it, um, you know, it's kind of like a single page. If you visualize it, you're working on one page cover front and back and then the inside cover again, front and back. So I think I want to do again a belly band in the back and again I'll be adding um, maybe a little bit of that paper in the back as you can see here. So I just like to have like I said extra little pockets and tuck spots to put things in. So for the inside pocket here on the right I do like to use some of these little um, postcard digitals. I think they're just the perfect size. They make the nicest little pocket. I don't want to cover up the um, the actual envelope that's stamped at the top because you know I, I am in Canada I made this in Canada and I just like to show that off so I'm not covering the full envelope like I would if I was making another project let's say um, here I'm just playing with the um, colors and the design and seeing what I think goes but really ultimately anything goes with this I mean you can go all out and embellish and vintage and distress it and that whole thing um, or you can just leave it as a just quick and easy fun collage project um, or like the one I'm making here. So um, here I'm just grabbing some additional pieces again that I had left over from other projects. I love to repurpose them and I am just trying to figure out what color I want to um, kind of go with, which page I want to add to the envelope. And I think I decide on this one at the end. So I just go ahead and cut the pieces to size because all I'll be doing is gluing them up to cover most of the white space. I just want to kind of see the pocket peeking through because whatever, you know, embellishments I add inside, whether it be tags or journaling cards, etc., I want them to peek through that little pocket. So here I'm just going to show you just how quickly I just kind of mark the piece that I'm going to be cutting up. You know, you could just use a ruler to cut it. I'm going to go ahead and cut it and come back just so that I don't bore you cutting it. I think um, it's so easy to to use a ruler to cut something super quick as well. You don't have to, um, you know, measure perfectly unless that's what you like to do, of course. But for these projects, I just like to have fun and, you know, make it super quick and not pull out all my other gear to have to cut pieces, etc. So um, here you just see me adding the um, the piece to the top. I'll be adding one to the bottom and then um, I'll just be gluing everything down. Okay, so I've got all my pieces cut up that I want to add and then I'm just going to go ahead and glue everything down. Um, I will be distressing some of these bits um, here. You don't have to do that. Um, but I'm just showing you guys that this would be a good time to distress anything if you were thinking of making it really kind of vintage and um, and grungy if you wanted to. 
Um, I will also link the um, brush that I use. It is a brush. I love these brushes for distressing. I will link them below. If you're interested in purchasing them, they're so easy to use. And um, I just find them super handy to have um, because they come in sets. So it's just super easy to have them. Okay, so now the best part is grabbing all your paper scraps, whatever you want to use to add to make pages. Um, what I'm going to do for this project is again, run it through my sewing machine, um, just because it's just super fun and easy to do. And I know the pages are there, you know, stuck nicely. They're not going anywhere. And then I'll show you once I get that done. So you can see what it looks like with the pages added in. Okay, so here we go. They've been stitched on. I've got, you know, kind of a nice variety of colors and shapes and sizes. Um, I've got a nice pocket in the front. And then you can just see um, the center where I've stitched everything up. It just, I like the way it turned out. And then of course the back with the pocket and that's it. So I hope you guys enjoy the share. If you make any, don't forget to tag me on Instagram. I would love to see what you make. I hope you like this kind of project. If you like this kind of video, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up. Don't forget to share the video, leave me a comment below. Um, and I hope to see you guys very soon. Um, and I hope you enjoyed the share. Thanks so much for stopping by.